everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Happy New Year, everybody. In today's late season matchup, we have two teams who have victory on their minds. It's the Packers going up against the Colts. So for the call of this week's 17 matchup, let's send it out to our broadcast team, Brandon Guy and James Davis. And we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium, which opened back in 2008 here in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Green Bay Packers and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, they come in off another victory a weekend ago. That ran their win streak up to seven now. And I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with confidence and swagger, and you need that to go a long way. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season, week 17, is underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> Oh, he's got a little daylight. The 20. And almost coast to coast. A great return marked out all the way at the two. Fantastic stuff there, Brandon. You love a returner who can turn the field position around all by himself. He couldn't quite finish the return off, but he gave his team excellent field position. Offense operates in the red zone. Shift together here from the D line. Now they'll run it on the toss. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A great play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Packers have taken the early lead. And they do exactly what they wanted. And now it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach. Why are you yelling? Don't worry about it. It's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter. We'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. <laughs> oh, bad move. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Return team. Automatic first down. Luck on first down. And incomplete to open things up. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now a play fake, and it's Luck. Backing up. He's going to fire one. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, now is the Packers punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And that is
has much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Boy, he was terrific last week, wasn't he? Put together a fantastic game, and now he gets to swagger out onto the field full of confidence and ready to go this week. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, that's what we call an even front or an odd front. And an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over the nose of the center, typically that's an odd front defense. An odd number of people, meaning 3-4 versus the 4-3, which is an even front. You've got to control those guys in the middle. Whether it's the nose or the two defensive tackles in a four-man front, if those guys can't get moved, you cannot run the ball in the middle of the field. And in that play, they were able to actually take care of business. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And that linebacker group today could be very key. As we were preparing for this game, you pointed out to me as we were watching film that the linebackers look like an elite unit. I agree with you totally. They move around, fly to the football, and take it away from offenses. Five yards to gain here on third down. Now it's Luck off the bootleg. He'll find his man on the comeback route, complete. A gain of 13 and also a first down. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll fake the handoff. Now Lock. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston. Then he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. And he has reached the summit. Move over Peyton Manning. There's a new record holder at the top, partner. And somewhere Peyton Manning is not excited about moving over, but he respects the fact that someone came and got his record. And we're here to see it. How exciting is this? Not just for us, but for all fans of football. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. All right, this is a guy that needs no introduction to the league. He has been around quite a while. And it's good that they have him, because when he looks around his huddle, he may not have guys with the same experience he has, maybe some of the youngsters, and his veteran leadership should help them along the way. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got the Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively, nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. 
And now it's third. And a lot of the weight of this offense falls on the shoulders of the running back. That's because the offense knows if they give him any openings, any opportunities, he can turn it into a big play at any time. Third down, the Colts beefing up the secondary. Six defensive backs in the game. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Finding time. Going down the middle, and it's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Got the hand caught up in the grill of the face mask. 15-yard penalty. So tough for a defender. You're trying so hard to make a play, and the way that these offensive guys can move around, sometimes your hand gets into the wrong place. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down. It'll go as a gain of 12. And the Packers are going to have a first down. Defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Throwing his luck, and he will find his man on the outside. It goes as a gain of six. Sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Here's Luck. Looking middle, and that's complete. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, 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 you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And he's brought down 18 yards on the pick up there and the Colts are going to have a first and another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move receivers breaking away from the defensive back and that makes it a really tough play to defend a nice chunk of yardage picked up there three yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down two minutes to go here in the first half We'll come back to Indianapolis right after this.
A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great effort there. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Colts have tied things up. They can take the lead with the extra point. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. nearly complete time maybe for one final drive before the break as we get back down to the field on first and ten lock and he's got his man in stride complete it's a gain of 17 that time and it'll give the Colts a first down and boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Touchdown, Indianapolis! Their big tight end down number 12 on the year and the cold strike quickly here for six points when they drew that up i don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call but he got it and took it all the way home really impressive run after the catch wasn't it that was a, that was really special by him but let's face it in today here remaining in the first half so the clock is becoming a factor the offense has the football on their own side of the field four down, four down. now a play fake here on first down and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down we know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 20, 10, touchdown Indianapolis. A big play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. And that'll give him a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score.
It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, 60 Bs. They're going to look to throw to the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and ten in the red zone. After the interception, it's Locke. His throw caught at about the five. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on fourth gotta try it here he's back to throw oh, there's that man again it's complete it's a gain of nine yards and on fourth down they're able to convert and move the sticks but well, all came together on that one didn't it big time Some no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Colts... It's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. They will take the knee here, and they will finish this regular season with a victory. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams 
finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for Indianapolis, the final win here means they'll finish off the regular season at a solid 13 and three. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, we'll have to see what happens as they're gonna finish the year 10 and six. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks time. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.